This is question number five. In the first part for three marks, it says give full details of a sequence of two transformations needed to transform the graph of y is equal to the modulus of x to the graph of y is equal to the modulus of two lots of x plus 3. A couple of different approaches. I'm simply going to write this now as y is equal to the modulus of 2x plus 6. We have two transformations and they're both in the x direction. We've got a stretch and a translation. The order matters. We do the translation first and we can say now that the first transformation is a translation. This will be 6 units in a negative x direction. So as a vector we can write this as minus 6, 0. So we can say 6 units in the negative x direction or parallel to the x-axis. So negative x direction. After now our translation we do a stretch. So I'm going to make this clear followed by, so followed by number 2 which is going to be a stretch. This is going to be a stretch. The scale factor is going to be one half, so SF of one half, and this will now be parallel to the X axis, or if you like, in the X direction. So two different transformations, both in the X direction, translation first, followed by stretch. In the second part for five marks, we're asked to solve the inequality, the modulus of X is greater than the modulus of 2 lots of x plus 3. We need to show all of our workings. A couple of different approaches with this one too. We could find critical values by squaring each side now of the equation, finding the critical values and then considering the inequality. I'm going to do this graphically instead. What we're going to have is the following. A quick sketch up. We will have now the modulus of x. The modulus of x will look something like so. So we have a gradient of 1, that's a positive branch to the right, the negative branch to the left. Then if I have the modulus of 2 lots of x plus 3, we'll have now a steeper line and we'll have two points of intersection to the left of the y-axis. So this graph right here is y is equal to the modulus of x and this one right here is y is equal to the modulus of 2 lots of x plus 3. I'm going to consider this point right here and this point right here and I'm going to say that this is going to be the point number one and the point number two. If we think about now the point number one, we have the negative branch of the modulus of 2x plus 3 and we have the negative branch of the modulus of x. So we can say minus x is equal to minus 2 lots of x plus 3. So from this we can say x is equal to 2x plus 6. From here we can say that x is going to be equal to minus 6. So that gives us now one of our critical values and that's just here. This is x is equal to minus 6. If we consider this one right here, this is the second one, we can see that we have the positive branch of now 2 lots of x plus 3. So the positive branch with now the negative branch of the modulus. So we'll go ahead and solve this. We'll have 2x, then we're going to have now plus 6 is equal to minus x. So from here we can say that 3x is equal to minus 6 and x is equal to minus 2. That gives us our second critical value just here and that is where x is going to be equal to minus 2. I'm asking myself now where is this line the y is equal to the modulus of x above now the line y is equal to the modulus of 2x plus 3 and we can see that, that is when x is going to be greater than minus 6 yet in turn less than minus 2. So all I've done is looked now to think where is this above the line. This line is above the orange one just from here to here and I'm going to write that down. So this is one way of doing it. There are a range of different ways, but this should now be the set of values that satisfy the inequality.